Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we are going to learn a few basic concepts about lines and angles. So let's get started. The first one is point. What is a point? If you mark a dot on the paper with the sharp tip of a pencil, that is a point. So if I mark a point like this, this is a point, right? Now it has no length breadth or height. A point has no length, breadth or height. For example, the tip of a compass. You know what is a compass with which we draw circles and arcs? So the tip of that is an example of a point. Second example would be sharpened end of a pencil or the pointed end of a needle. So all these are examples of point. Now how do we represent point? We can represent points using letters, capital letters. For example, I can say this is Z. This is point Z. If I make one more point, I can say this is point These points are read as point Z, point P. Now the next one we have is a line segment. If you take a piece of paper and fold it, right? So when you fold it and open it up again, that is unfold it, you will see a crease there, right? That crease gives you an idea of a line segment. So a line segment looks somewhat like this. It has two end points. So let's say A and B are the end points. So I'll label this end point as A. And this end point as B. It is denoted by either AB or BA. However, you need to put a line segment on top of this, like this. Right? So when you write, you would write AB and then you put a line segment. Just draw a small line segment on top of it. Or you can say BA and you can draw a line segment on top of this. The points A and B are called the end points. So here we have A and B and these are called the end points of the line segment AB. The next one is line. A line through two points A and B is written as AB. So now we need to draw a line on top of this AB. So it would look somewhat like this. With a double arrow. With the double arrow. So if you want to draw, it would look somewhat like this. And if you see here, we have the arrows. Right? Now, it extends forever in both directions. That is, it has no end points. A line has no end points. Line segment has two end points. Line has no end points and sometimes we can denote it using a letter L or M so I can say that this line I can say is L or if I want to use I can use letters capital letters then I have to mark two points here like say this point and this point and then I will say A B and this is line A B A B and just draw a small line on top of this. A unique line passes through any two given points. This means that if you have two points, right, now there is just one line that would pass through these two points. There is no way we can have one more line. There is just one line that can pass through two points. Next one is a ray. A ray is a portion of a line that starts at one point called the starting point or initial point of the ray and goes on endlessly in a direction. That means it has one fixed point and the other point goes on forever. For example, you must have seen the beam of light from a lighthouse. Pictures are given in your textbook on page number 15 so you can refer to the pictures. So from the lighthouse, the beam of light, that is an example of a ray. Then a ray of light from a torch. So if you have a torch like this, Right now, the rays that would come out of this would be in one direction. It's starting from the torch and it's going towards one direction. Similarly, sun rays. 
and then the rays are in one direction. It starts from the sun and it moves in all the directions. So these are examples of rays. And when we draw it mathematically, it looks somewhat like this. So it has one fixed point, which is called the starting point. So let's say this is the starting point and this is point A and one more point, which is B. So we have marked two points on it. One is the starting point and other point is the path of the ray. And we will denote it by ray AB. So we'll draw a small picture of ray on top of this. So it starts from A and it moves towards B. We cannot write this as BA. If you write it as BA, that is not correct because this is not the starting point, right? We always write the starting point first, which is A here in this case. So A and then moving towards B. So A, B. I hope this is clear to you. After this, you have six questions given in figure it out that we will be doing in our coming videos. I have already done the question number one. So we'll be doing from question number two onwards. Thank you.